Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So I'm going to really quickly go over some of the problems that people have been having with uh, Unity ads when they download it. They'll get 6 to 82, well it's normally just 6 errors, and uh, they're not able to install ads. So they'll go look on Google and they'll say, oh you need to download this SDK file, you need to do that, you need to go try re-download and do all these things, like half a dozen things to a dozen things that you need to do. Uh, most of the time that's incorrect, you just need to do one thing. So right here is the project, I want to add ads onto it. I just downloaded Unity Ads and I'm getting this error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Windows, I'm going to go down to Package Manager. I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. So in Package Manager you have an advertisement section here and you can actually click on See All Versions. And the problem when you download Unity Ads is it'll conflict with the this advertisement section here. I'm just actually going to open up uh, Windows again. I'm going to go down to General and I'm going to go down to Services. So before I touch anything, I want to make sure that I actually have everything set up. So, so in Ads, I'm going to make sure I have Test Mode enabled. Here in Advanced, I'm going to make sure that I have Enable Built-in adds extension. I want to use that so I'm just going to make sure that that's checked off as well and that is turned on up here. So it is. So I'm just going to leave that like that. So in Package Manager what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to remove the version which is the latest version so 3.7.1 and it's conflicting with the Unity Ads. So I'm just actually going to remove it. I'm just going to hit remove and give it uh, about 30 seconds to do its thing. If you look down at the bottom here you can actually see the dial working and I might get a little pop up here right when it's done like right there and it uh, fixed it. So if there's still some errors there the errors might have changed and you can just hit clear and so I'm really going to quickly add some ads on and I'll see you all in one second just to make sure that it's actually working. Alright and here I am back so I'm just going to hit play. I went ahead and added a few ads to pop up at the beginning here. So once I hit tab, boom, I get the ads. So it is actually working now. So I can actually close that down. So this was conflicting here. So if you still have the problem, we'll go on to another solution here. I'm just going to close this tab. So I previously stated that uh, this just makes sure that's on, which it, it's on here. You can see it and that everything here was actually checked on which it is. So if it's not working still, what you want to do is now you want to actually delete Unity Ads. So I'm just going to delete it. I'll get some errors because I quickly wrote a script for the advertisement uh, that I could put in there. So I might get an error here saying that there's no advertisement. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go down to Asset Store. And in Asset Store, I'm going to just re-download uh, Unity Monetization. So Unity monetization right here and it should be the 3.1 version so the SDK 3.1 version it's free so I'm just going to download and this is the errors that I was talking about so, so here is the uh, Unity monetization I already downloaded it so I can actually import it so all I actually need is the ads down here Unity ads so I'm just going to import it here like this so if you had those errors and they weren't fixed before, once you re-download them with the uh, package manager ads off, it should work again. So if the first method didn't work, it should be working now. If not, then you should go into download whatever SDK files you'll need and doing any actual modifications. But the first method should have worked. Like I said, it's normally because Unity Ads is conflicting with the advertisements in the pack package manager. Uh, if that didn't work, then just re-download it with, the, uh, with all your ads and your services on. But as you saw, it was the first method for me. That's normally the case with uh, most people that I've talked to. And then there's been a few cases where it's not that, and it would be just making sure that the ads are on when you download it. And uh, yeah. So just remember when you disable package manager the advertisement and let the it run through tap clear just to make sure that the errors are actually gone or still there and uh, yeah hopefully this helped uh, if not yeah, Google search for whatever SDK files you need for your project every project is going to be different 
uh, and every version of Unity is going to be different. 2019.4.4 F1 for me. Uh, and so I'm not going to go into which SDK files and stuff to download. That's going to be uh, more based on your project and whatever you're building, whatever device you're building for, etc. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helped. If it did, leave a like, comment down below so others can find it. And thank you for watching and have a great day.